guys welcome back to another vlog i have missed you so much i hope you guys had a really merry christmas you guys i'm so sorry that i just fell off again um not entirely my fault i've been sick like off and on could not shake it finally i feel like i'm like well past it and i feel happy healthy i feel like a human again so yeah i'm really excited to hang out with you guys today um just want to kind of like catch you guys up do a little bit of a recap um, before the new year because the new year is going to be pretty busy all good things all exciting things you guys know we've been expecting a move so just a lot going on really excited for but i didn't want to like jump into the craze before like catching you guys up because it's been basically all december with no vlog so i'm really sorry you guys um we actually had a pretty chill christmas i don't know what it was you guys but like we decorated the tree and everything and we felt like the christmas spirit i love christmas i'm always excited for it but it just did not like hit us as hard this year as it usually does probably because last christmas we thought would be our last christmas here in quantico and we're here still so i think it was just kind of like we've just mentally checked out i feel like we're like running on this hamster wheel like we're ready to go we're like so motivated but we're just like not getting anywhere yet so i think it just kind of hit us of like ugh, we're still here like we're over it and we didn't necessarily want to like fly through the christmas season because it is special to us but i think we were just like we're just ready for the next thing you know we're ready for a new year a new location a new house just new scenery just i don't know it always feels like a reset every time that you move so i think we're just like ready for that um but yeah i don't know still enjoyed our christmas we had like a really good christmas day here at home um saw some friends throughout the season but it was just like I don't know we're just ready for the next thing you know and i hate that i feel like i feel like the day after christmas we were like talking we're like man we did kind of rush through christmas we kind of regretted it but i don't know it just wasn't the same this year like we decorated the trees and i did put the stockings up and a few knickknacks around the house but like that was it i didn't do like my full out shebang that i usually do um i don't know i'm kind of sad about it now that it's over but it is what it is we're just we're ready to move on and um yeah just ready for change so i'm really excited for the new year i hope you guys are too i feel like i don't know i don't always like subscribe to the like new year's goals and resolutions and you have to change everything about yourself for the new year but i do like the idea of like a fresh slate like you know you turn the page it's a new year new calendar um and something about that it does feel like almost like rejuvenating like i just get excited for life again and i am really excited for this new year i feel like there's going to be a lot of good things to come like my schooling is going to be really good um obviously we're moving things with chase are going to be really good he has a lot of exciting things coming up i have exciting things coming up so yeah i'm excited and i do have like things that i'm praying for this year like i'm not all about like resolutions like i like to set intentions and i definitely have like a list of prayers that i'm going to be praying over throughout the year but yeah i don't know anyways i'm just excited i'm excited to like be back to youtube and get back into the swing of things and just kind of like find my rhythm again because i feel like this last year just kind of like knocked me off my feet to be honest like you guys know school is really hard for me this year I don't, not really hard it was just like more demanding than i thought especially this last semester i severely underestimated like the time and attention that it would take for me also duke is snoring behind me if you guys hear him like snoring he's a loud snorer like his father but um yeah i don't know anyways i'm just excited and i'm excited to vlog and just kind of like get you guys caught up to speed on life because it's been an entire month of basically nothing from me and i'm so sorry you guys i hate doing that but um, it did feel really good to just spend time with Chase and not like worry about literally anything. He actually ended up taking a couple weeks of leave and we just spent like good quality time together. He was like, Marissa, I feel like we have just, we've just been like two ships passing in the night. Like most of our time has just been spent in passing. So he ended up taking a couple weeks of leave. We didn't go home. We just like hung around here and it was honestly so good i just feel like we've like really reconnected and we're just excited for life and our marriage and it was just it was so good highly recommend if you guys um i feel like as military families you get like kind of like you feel this pressure to like take leave only to go home and you never like use those days for like you and your like you know your immediate inner family like just you and your spouse your spouse and your kids like I feel like there's a lot of pressure of like oh we have to go home and then you only use those days to go home granted we definitely want to be more intentional about making more trips home i feel like 
that was all we did our first year of marriage like our first two years of marriage all we did was go home we didn't do anything for ourselves and then i think coming to quantico with like more distance because um if you guys don't know we were living in california and i ha we had family in arizona and it was literally like it was like mere hours like it felt like it flew by it was such an easy drive and then moving to quantico our nearest family is in like illinois and iowa so knowing that there's a greater distance i feel like we were just like well we can use this time to just like prioritize ourselves but then there wasn't like really a balance like we just spent every holiday here um family did come to visit us throughout the summers and stuff but um i feel like i don't know there is a balance to be had like obviously we miss our family and we love our family so i feel like i don't i don't know i feel like we went from one extreme to another but anyways i do really recommend just like taking time for just you and your spouse um, because that is really important what you don't have to go on like these extravagant vacations literally just stay home and spend time together because it literally it does wonders for like intimacy and communication and all those things it's just it's so good highly recommend but yeah that being said we didn't do as much with that time as we really wanted to we really just kind of like hung out at home we were hoping to start some moving prep we were also hoping to like check off our bucket list for every duty station we create a bucket list of things to do before we leave and our move out of camp pendleton to here we was like really spontaneous really random orders and we were kind of like blindsided by it so we actually never finished our bucket list for pendleton and if we had moved when we were originally supposed to move from quantico last summer we wouldn't have finished our bucket list for here either so when the orders got delayed we were like well at least we have time to like finish everything that we want to do and we were hoping to do a lot of that this month but we didn't we didn't cross off a single thing so that kind of sucks but we are doing something today that's on our bucket list we're actually going to go to the marine corps museum chase has been once it's literally if you guys are on quantico it's literally right down the road like you have to go right so um yeah it'll be my first time chase actually went with some guys from work so he said it was really cool but yeah chase had to go into work for a few hours so i figured while he's um working i would just intro the vlog catch you guys up a little bit and then when he gets home he's probably gonna have to like freshen up and get ready and then we'll head over to the museum and then once we get back from the museum i'm debating on taking down our christmas decor i don't know we have like our tree up here and it does look really pretty i kind of want to keep it up for like another day i'm not sure we'll see maybe i'll just take down like all the knickknacky stuff and then leave the trees up and just take those down tomorrow i'm not sure we're just gonna kind of go with it but i think duke got sick of listening to me talk because he literally just hopped off the chair and left but i saved a christmas present to myself to open with you guys i shared last year how i'm trying to grow my jewelry collection and my favorite jewelry company right now is anna luisa the pieces are literally such good quality the necklace i'm wearing right now which is kind of like covered by my sweatshirt i literally got this last year and i wear it nearly every day and it's still held up so good I'm obsessed with it hardly ever take it off and also Anna Luisa's earrings are the only earrings that don't irritate my ears they don't feel super heavy they don't irritate me so I love it and the pieces are literally so good so I picked out a few pieces for myself and I'm literally so excited I almost kind of forgot what I picked out so this literally feels like Christmas morning all over again I'm so excited so this first pair of earrings are so cute they're like these double hoops i actually got a similar pair last year and i meant to give them to a friend and then i actually ended up loving them so much that i kept them for myself these ones are a little bit different though because they have like the diamonds on the one little hoop so i thought that would be so cute i love like the layered earring look but i only have one hole on each ear so um, I kind of like to do like the double hoops just to kind of like mimic that look so I'm really excited about those and then I also picked out this little C initial necklace which I just thought would be like kind of cute I don't have anything like this really so um, I figured a C for Chase would be really cute so I picked out a little initial necklace also I love necklaces like this to layer because you can layer them with literally anything just something simple classic not too much going on you can literally pair it with whatever you want and then I also picked up these like classic looking hoops I don't have anything like this actually the only hoops that I have are more chunky you guys have probably seen them I wear them literally all the time but these are like much more classic they actually kind of remind me of my mom which is a good thing my mom always rocks like these just classic gold hoops so 
um i love these i'm really excited because again i'm trying to build up like a a collection that can last me you know for years and years just like really timeless pieces so i like to mix kind of like you know trendier jewelry with like those classic staples and i think this is definitely a staple that i can literally keep forever and wear all the time and again Ana Luisa's jewelry is super good quality um, nothing tarnishes scratches again I wear their jewelry like over and over and over but the last piece I grabbed are these dainty little earrings which are so fun I don't have anything like this the only earrings I really have are like hoops and studs I don't have anything um, I don't even know what this shape is but it's so unique it's so I love that it's like fun but still dainty because I don't like to do like super dramatic earrings. It just, I don't really feel like it fits my vibe. But I thought these were like the perfect mix of like fun and classic and simple. So I'm really excited about these. But yeah, those are all the pieces that I picked out for myself. I think I'm actually going to wear these hoops today. I think this would be so cute for the museum. Just like a classic gold hoop. I'm so excited. If you guys want to shop for like a last minute Christmas gift or maybe something for yourself, um, definitely check out their website. I will have a link down in the description box. They're doing 20% off their site right now. I will also name off the... Um, jewelry pieces that I picked out in case you saw something that you're interested in. You can also screenshot my code up here. And yeah, I just want to give a huge thank you to Ana Luisa for collaborating with me. You guys know how much I love their jewelry, such good quality, and it's also super affordable. So definitely have a look through their website. Again, the link will be in the description box, but I'm going to finish my coffee and then hopefully Chase should be home here pretty soon. And then we can go to the museum. All right, I went all throughout the house and grabbed all the decor that was out. And this is it. This is the extent of it. I didn't display my wrapping paper this year. I didn't do like the Christmas card holder that I did in like that cabinet last year. Didn't do it. Still a lot though. Like a lot was out. It still felt Christmassy, but it's just so crazy that like we just didn't go as hard as we usually do this year. Kind of sad about it, but it's okay. Okay. Sorry for the angle, you guys. I get shy and there's like someone parked right in front of us or like little bit catty corner but we made it to the museum we're in the parking lot right now and i'm so stinking excited you guys this building looks humongous so we'll see how long it takes us to get through my camera battery is actually about to die so i'll film a little bit on my phone but i'm so excited chase said when he came with work it took him a few hours to see everything so we'll see how much footage i can get i kind of also just like want to be in the moment and just like have a little museum date with my husband but i am so excited you guys i love museums i love history i love the marine corps obviously so yeah we're gonna go ahead and go in and like i said i will try to show you guys as much as i can okay bye Okay guys, we just got back from the museum. Of course, my camera battery died as soon as we pulled into the parking lot and I totally forgot to grab my uh, spare, but we had so much fun. Highly recommend you guys. It was so awesome. We were there for probably about three-ish hours and we did not even see everything there is to see. Um, well, we did go through like the whole entire like exhibit, but we didn't see the, um, what's it called? The combat art gallery. I feel like that would've been kind of neat to see, but we were just like, well, we better get home because we're hungry. So yeah, super neat, really good exhibits, a lot of like really neat displays and like information. My favorite, my two favorite things were one, there's a ton of like quotes throughout the exhibits and you just get to kind of like, you get a feel for like Marines, you know, like what they say and just like, I don't know. I like that personal touch. 
and then there's also a ton of marine veterans that are there kind of like as guides i guess they're there for you know if you have any questions and they're super knowledgeable they have a they know a ton like they share a ton of information always answering questions and so i feel like that was probably my favorite part is just talking with them they also wear their ranks on their shirts and i think that's kind of neat because it just kind of tells its story you know on its own sometimes so i highly recommend um going and then be sure to ask them questions because you can tell that they're like excited to talk about different battles and wars and like the marine corps in general and so it was just neat to listen to them and hear them hear them go on about what they know. Very passionate people. <laughs> there was one gentleman in particular that was talking to us about, I think it was the two flags at Iwo Jima, and he knew so much about like the two Marines who were there uh, photographing it, and he knew a lot about like different exchanges that were happening, and um, I don't know, he just he just brought everything to life. Like he just knew so much, and it was really neat. It's You get a lot more out of it than just like reading the signs and seeing pictures. Like talking to someone who's actually like knowledgeable about that topic, it just, it makes a world of difference. So highly recommend going and I recommend talking to the Marines that are there. Um, I think they're volunteers, not completely sure. But um, yeah, really, it was really fun. It was a really good experience. And we did stop at the gift shop and we got a little Christmas ornament for our tree. Obviously it won't be on the tree until next year, but uh, we just got like a little Marine cover. I thought it'd be kind of cute to remember the Marine Corps Museum and also just like Chase's time in the Marine Corps. That was kind of neat, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm really glad we went. I can't believe it's taken me three years to go. I mean, we've li literally lived on Quantico for three years and I'm just now making it over to the museum. It's literally right down the street. So if you guys are out here, definitely go. Don't wait as long as I did. It was really neat. Also, I feel like you, you know, take your kids. It can be like a whole family thing. Um, I don't think there was anything. I mean, there are some displays like fake mannequins that have like injuries and stuff. So maybe just be wary of that. But for the most part, super family friendly. There was a ton of families there, children of all ages. Um, it was really neat to see like little kids like, you know, touch the mannequins and stuff like that. I don't know if they're really supposed to, but no one said anything. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Highly recommend going. It was a little fun, a little fun date day, but it's now about dinner time and Chase asked if I want to go out to eat with him. So I think we're going to go, we're going to go get some dinner. I'm literally starving. I have like a hangry headache and I'm just, ugh, I'm starving. But um, yeah, then I think we're going to get back. Finally, I'll put the Christmas decor up and then I'm debating if I just want to pull an all nighter and edit this video so that you guys can get it right away and then maybe put the Christmas tree up. I was going to vlog all of that, but honestly, I think it might be better to just crank it out and get it over with. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Annalisa down in the description box. I ended up wearing these hoops to the museum, and I honestly forgot that they were even on my ears. They're literally so lightweight, which is another thing that I'm kind of picky about with earrings and why I like Annalisa is all the hoops that I have from them are really lightweight. I almost forget that I'm even wearing them because my ears are really sensitive usually. And so if an earring is, you know, it either irritates my ears or it's just like super heavy and I just take them out. So yeah, love these. I think these are actually gold plated as well. Um, I'll have to double check on that, but I'm pretty sure they're gold plated. So they don't really, no irritation. They wear really nicely. So yeah, again, all of the pieces that I picked out, I will have in the description box as well. So you can just like easily find them on their site. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.